Let's continue with our look at the STF. As we saw in PI2, the auto stretch works great. It can also be applied here. You can change its shadows clipping and target background settings with control click. Here's a shadows, midtones, and highlights slider. Those familiar with levels will recognize them, but the STF is a screen stretch only and makes no changes to the data. Be sure this is highlighted to track the image view in real time. With the edit mode engaged, left click and drag the sliders. You can adjust the black point white point and gamma, like so. Another way to do this is with the readout mode. You can try choosing black point by clicking in the darkest part of the image, then white point clicking on the brightest star, and lastly midtones picking somewhere in the middle. By default, channels are linked. They can be unlinked here, giving access to individual R, G, and B channels. This applies to the auto stretch as well. So if the image has a nasty color bias, try unlinking channels and clicking auto stretch again. When channels are unlinked, hover over the desired channel's slider and drag. With an RGB image, we're also offered a lightness channel. This is only active when that view is selected here. With a monochromatic image, only a K channel is available. For finer control in any mode, choose Zoom In and click here as many times as you like. Once magnified, you can choose the scroll mode and your mouse's wheel to move left and right. Zoom out here or by resetting one to one. To reset all, click here. You'll find this in all process dialogs as well. You can reset individual channels here. You can also enable and disable the STF without having to reset it. You can close any process here. Be advised that merely closing the STF does not disengage the auto stretch. You can shade processes, as well as drag them to your preferred location. For the complete picture, refer to documentation, as it's one process that's well represented. You'll find this link in all other processes as well. While not so apropos for the STF, clicking this square will apply any process to an active image. This arrow is called New Instance. You can apply a process by dragging it to any number of desired images or previews, but it does much more. Watch what happens as I drag it, not to an image, but to the desktop. A new process icon is created. You can move it, rename it, or delete it. And again, a right click opens a lengthy context menu. I'll close the STF, then double click the icon to reopen it. In a moment, we'll see why that's so very powerful. But before we leave the STF, let's see one important trick. Suppose I've taken the time to create a good-looking screen stretch. 
oftentimes the auto stretch alone will suffice. Once your tasks in the linear space are complete and you're ready to go non-linear, open the histogram transformation tool and select the appropriate view. Grab the new instance arrow and drag it directly to this bar. Disabling the STF, apply or drag this new instance to the image and BAM! The screen stretch has been applied as a permanent one. The histogram transformation tool is where you do nonlinear manual stretching as well. But we get ahead of ourselves. Just hit undo to return to the linear space. Apart from being an alternate way to apply a process, we've seen that in some cases new instances can be transferred to other tools. And an icon is a handy way of accessing a favorite process. But why are they so important? As we've established with other IP4AP series, no two image sets are ever alike. Pixinsight requires experimentation with tool settings to achieve best results. But once you find good starting points, creating a new instance icon lets you preserve those settings. Normally, upon restart, processes open at default settings. But a new instance icon opens the way we left it. So as we fine-tune the already good default settings, we can save icons here. When reloaded, they'll reopen just as we put them away. Here's my roughly chronological stack, named and placed the way I choose. And they're pretty. Next up, more about processes.